thought long and hard about this. We get ourselves into this and somebody dies along the way. Shit. I've decided we have to move forward. If you do, I'll... You what? Where did this come from? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna do season one, episode 20 of Mobile Suit Gundam, Iron Blooded Orphans. We're just gonna jump right into it. I know it's been a while. Let's go. Boop. Finally made it. Gino, keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. Ah! Uh, uh, salty. What's up with the water this here? This is the first time they ever get to see real it's earth so water. Huh? Looks so beautiful, doesn't it? Is that it? The thing you were named after, Mikazuki? It's pretty dope. I can't believe it. We're here now. After all this time, we made it to Earth. Boss! Huh? Hey. Ooh, okay, that? let's go. I don't know, but he told me that he wants to talk to you. What? So you're Tekken, are you? Yeah? Nice to finally meet you. Most of his organs aren't functioning. Oh, He's I dying. Don't I don't care about that. The only option we have left is to utilize some form of cybernetic implant. You can't be serious. Turn that means he'd have to spend the rest of his life as a monster. He's alive. Uh Beach scene, let's go. Everyone there, boxers and bikinis. Everything's so blue. Look at how big the clouds are. Yeah, but the sea has a funky smell to it. <laughs> and it makes things sticky. Dude, well, look how beautiful I'm that sure is. sure there are other places around here. I want to go somewhere really fancy, you know? <sighs> well, I guess this is the end of our job, isn't it? I wonder if Ooh. we'll get a bonus. You know what? It's a negotiation. Copyright said, song. Well, we might become superstars <sighs> back on Mars. I know. Now stop. Like a moron and work, you pierced idiot! I am working! <laughs> what the hell? Um, Master Bakanai sends his best Master. and asks me to deliver this. Wow! Nice. What is it? <gasps> oh! oh. oh it's well, on the ground it's now. Slimy. <laughs> Make that thing go away! <laughs> his eyes are still what? moving. Is that really something people eat? No way, man. Yeah, I wouldn't even know where to begin with All right, this thing. I should be going now. Oh. What's wrong? It's nothing. Pardon me. I would freak the hell out too if I saw it. If I had to guess, I'd say he was staring at your backs. Mm -hmm. Most people on Earth get disgusted when they see whiskers. They'd feel the same way if they noticed these prosthetic legs of mine. Just hard for them to accept, as long as people are still holding on to their memories of that war. The Alea Vignana? You want to turn Ayn into a machine? Don't you want to save his life? Of course. Uh, he has to turn into a machine. Yes, Is he gonna... Everybody has arrived and they are now waiting Bind him to a Gundam? I'm sure everything will go well. Don't know about that. <laughs> he keeps it real. If it was something simple, we could have been done with all of this yesterday. Mm -hmm. This thing's all up to you now. Don't back down. I won't. <laughs> Buck dude's freaking out. Wait, this is food. It's gotta be some sort of sick joke. Look at that thing. Look at this guy's late like, nah. now. What are you doing? Just forget it. Uh, huh? Huh? Woo! I can't I wait until we get this back home. I'm telling everyone. <laughs> we are going back to Mars after Miss Pedalia's mm. work is finished, aren't we? She'll be in the limelight for a long time. We may not even be able to talk to her anymore. Damn, dude. That's too well, well, thank optimistic. Well, very much for coming all this Look way. At this freaking My beer. name is Toganosuke Makanai. Don't worry about Gallerhorn. They won't come here. How okay. How can you be so certain, Mr. Makanai? If Gallerhorn wanted to come out here, then they would have to get permission from the Federation first. Nice. Pretty much like the UN of the world. But there's no reason for the Oceanian Federation to harbor people like us. Actually, there is. The reforms in the door. Huh? Apparently, the union laborers obtained working conditions equal to those on Earth. That's great. My wishes came true. It was your actions that triggered Is the that whole. Too easy, too hard. Wait, our actions. The Oceanian Federation would never sell you to Gallerhorn. Okay. We're here, sir, to discuss the deregulation of Martian half metal by our. Ah, uh, yes, of course. That's impossible right now. What? Because I fell from power and I'm currently living in exile. In other words, I have absolutely no power over anything. Wow. What the hell are you saying? We came all the way to oh Earth God. just to meet an old fart who can't do anything <laughs> but sit around and stroke his damn beard all day. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, everything that we've been doing was pointless? I'm all the people who died. That, no. There are still ways to turn this around. General Assembly meeting. 
That's right. Apparently, there's an election for the Prime Minister of Arbrow soon. Mr. Makanai wants us to take him where the meeting is set to be held. And if he's able to attend, then he'll be elected as What's Prime Minister again. He seems uh. pretty confident. All right, then why don't we just take him there? That's a new plan. I heard his rival, Henri Floor, has the total support of Gallarhorn. So if we accept, you're saying we're going to have to fight him head on? Talk about annoying. Yeah, and that's not even the worst part of it. We'll go back and discuss this with what? the rest of our crew. Go back? Not good. I think what we have here is a grave misunderstanding. Do you have a plan for getting back to Mars in one piece? Do you even have a ship that can take you off this planet? Why are you saying this? The Oceanian Federation is making sure no one will sell you out to Gallarhorn for as long as you're here. If the mood struck me, I could change that of my own volition. Damn, dude. Is that a threat? Well, what now? Damn. He did in a hard spot right There's now. no need for you to be swayed by Mr. Monk. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. After all, that was our job. Yes, I know. As of now, that job's been carried out oh. to total satisfaction. Oh, wow. It's all up to me. Damn, Everyone, girl, you don't have to you deal with yourself. You don't have to worry about me anymore. You can each follow your own path. Hey, boss! We're receiving a QCCS call! Come on! It's Eugene! You're still alive, huh? Nice. Sure. I thought that was him. Boss! Oh, boss, mom. You really are tough. You know it. The Oceanian Federation decided to harbor us for a while. They're treating us like friggin' heroes here. The beating we gave Gallerhorn must have really made an impression. For real? You're some hardcore badasses. Kind of embarrassing to be called So a glad hero. you're safe. Good job. You bunch of idiots. Yeah. By the way, Naze wanted to know what was happening down there. Tell brother I want to talk to him about something. Uh oh. Understood. Biscuit, we need to talk. Huh? Sounds like a crafty old fox to me. What's the plan? There isn't anything holding you back. Thinking of taking on Machinai's request. Even if doing mm. that could possibly endanger the lives of your family? We can't go back to Mars like this. Suppose we did go back there. We might get a little fame. Be able to find work for a while. That isn't gonna last too long. He's smart. We're still nobody's brother. Woo! And I want for us to become something much bigger. <laughs> okay. I've decided. Taking on Machinai's request. I figure it's better to pick the one with a bigger return. Let's go back. We did all we set out to do, but we can't do that. We just go back to being nothing. That's Punk true. Punk ass kids again. Punk ass kids. He's right. We have to rise above all that. Fuck. Just, just stop it! What the Please, you're not thinking about the rest of us. I don't think about my friends. Mm -hmm. I'm asking you not to purposely take the dangerous path, Orga. I thought long and hard about this. We get ourselves into this and somebody dies along the way. We have to move forward. If you do, I'll... I'll quit. I'll quit, Tekken. What? What did what happen? Where did this come from? Biscuit! It's from your older brother. Saverin? <laughs> His brother must have told him some real shit. You scared me. Is something the matter? No. I've made up my mind. You guys don't really be talking about their feelings. <laughs> if he's made prime minister, it's good for Tewaza's business, right? I had no idea Biscuit felt that way at all. Is that what this is about? I didn't think he'd take it that far. It might have to do with what Eugene told him. Yeah. About what happened to his older brother. What I tried to do was for the benefit of my fellow union members and everyone else. But things didn't go as planned. Damn, that's so result. hard. Maybe you really think Mr. Navona and I carried a burden that was beyond us. We could have left the colonies and found simpler lives somewhere else. I don't ever want you to be swayed by others. So he sounds so sincere. Find your own path. Find your life. own path. Damn. Never look back. Cherish the ones who are close to you. I pray that you have a happy and fulfilling life. Man, that is sad. Brother. Two brothers. So Split that's ways. what it was. <laughs> the hell? Hey, Biscuit. What's eating you? Orga and I got into an argument. You serious about this? You really want to quit Tekken then? Just seems like everyone would be a lot safer if we took a calmer path. You may be right. Yeah? But then again, Ooh, black it's wisdom. to say, isn't it? Nobody knows what the future's got in store. Make so no mistake. Young. It's a hell of a lot more than luck that got Tekken then to where it is now. It was Orga. It was all of our friends. And, uh, it, was and it was you, too. 
drink this tea. It's remind me of uh. So why don't you try and Avatar. talk it out with him? Uncle Iroh. That's what was done in the past, right? Boss, there's a call from Mr. Mock and I. What is it? We just heard from Gallerhorn. They've advised us to hand over Kudelia and take it in immediately. Wow. Well, I thought they were safe. Well, there are people in Gallerhorn with some rather unique commanding rights. You will not escape. Hey guys, that's episode 20. All I gotta say is Ian Dalton is this some real shit. I'm not sure if you guys ever heard of the game Zone of the Enders, but I kind of get a feeling that in order for Ian to live, big spoiler to that game, he's gonna have to merge into the Gundam in order to save his life, which is similar to something that uh, happened in the game of Zone of the Enders. It makes a lot of sense. Yo, Chocolate Man is like, I have an idea. I think it's crazy, but I, if we can put him inside using, you know, the, if, the technology that we have, maybe we can save him. Cause otherwise the doctor said Ian is gonna be on some kind of robotic shit for the rest of his life because the fight with August pretty much ripped out most of his insides. And it kind of looked like that too, the last battle. Biscuit is freaking out. I'm not sure what's gonna happen to Orga cause he's freaking out. Biscuit got a call from his brother and it's making him trip out. And it's, it makes sense because so far they have been relying on luck. Uh, luck and pretty much straight up balls and just like male ego and just like I'm not gonna give up because you shitted on my family So I'm gonna shit on your family. So they've been doing that for like this whole season and It's been working so far, but at the same time luck can run out and biscuit is like yo My brother said some real shit like I need to think for myself even though I'm in this family and you guys protected me at the same time I don't want to see people around me die because Biscuit's brother tried to believe in something bigger than himself and eventually he failed. And that's not true for everyone. Like sometimes you believe and sometimes shit fails for somebody, but it doesn't have to happen to everybody. But Biscuit's brother's like, I just witnessed a lot of people died because I failed and I don't want that burden on you. And it makes a lot of sense why Biscuit is going crazy right now. He's like, yo, I don't want to go any further. We have a safe route home. We should take it and go home, leave everything behind. We completed our mission. But Orga's like, we have to help Mike and I. And I think what Mach and I needs to do is travel from, I guess, that remote island that he is somewhere else in order to like regain power. Because right now he doesn't have power. He's in like cell right now. And I think the other option is to help Mac and I get to where he needs to be and do what he needs to do or stay where they are right now. Or literally leave and try to get to Mars, but they're gonna be sitting ducks because like you fuck with too many people to get to where you are now. So to go back untouched, it's not really gonna happen. The only thing that you can do now is go forward. Biscuit is tripping, I'm tripping. We're just gonna have to get into it. And uh, thank you for watching episode 20 with me. Beep, beep.